Paddy Power, Irish Derby final, in one he said so, two Drubies Maldini, three Billy Playback, four Drubies Marco, five Sparrow, side tread, six Westmead Hawk, 150,000 resting on it, the favourites in two. Away they go, he's away quite well, but it's two he said so, showing in front of Westmead Hawk is a brilliant draw. Maldini is in trouble enough going to the bend, there's one he said so leads around the bend, Westmead Hawk is out of it, and he said so has gone five clear into the far side. Maldini is second, Billy Playback is third, and Marco is fourth, but it must be he said so, he's out front. Maldini is running a big race in second, closing the gap, but it's he said so out front, he's not going to be caught. Timmy O'Donovan and Jimmy Hennessy are going to win the derby, and big Mick Henry and Mick O'Donovan from Castle is bred him. It's he said so, the winner of the derby. Second is Maldini. Westmead Hawk did his usual flying run through. He might have got third. John, we've just seen the 2005 derby won by he said so. That's right. He would have won this stake on back in 2004, 10 years ago now. And this is Red Mill's 25th year to sponsor the champion on race. And we've seen some super racing tonight. That's right, uh, 25 years here now. And uh, tonight's racing was top class. Uh, Owen McKinnon there had a double. And John Kennedy also from Torless. John had a double. It looks like it's going to be an interesting stake. Absolutely. I wouldn't like to try and pick the winner at this stage yet. Well, now let's see if you can pick this year's winner. Uh, whatever place you want. <laughs> Martin, you must have been happy with the run tonight, even though it's an awful lot of trouble at the first bend. Yes, very happy. Happy to stay on our feet and qualify for next week. And the breeding of this dog, it's exceptional. Yeah, very well bred. Um, his brother, 28-20 last night in Wimbledon, the fastest first round heat winner of the Derby. Um, and plenty of other brothers, like I said, top class. Yeah. Stephen, it was they definitely worth the trip down from Belfast them. tonight. Yes, well worth the trip. And did, you, and did you buy or breed this dog? Bought the dog from the Dumfries in January and we've hailed him for this competition. And has Martin had him since then? Martin's had him from the end, from the day we got him. Brilliant. Well well done on your win tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Got up just in the nick of time. He did, yeah. We ran a great race, a very brave race. Um, I thought he was beaten, but he kept chasing all the way. And um, look, he just got there right on the line. He sure did. And your mother actually owns and trains the dog. Yeah, it's a family, um, it's a family effort. And I said, Mammy owns them, but we all we all work around him every day. You know, it's a small family, and um, we we it's extra special then once it's family. Win. Of course, she looked really delighted after Yeah, she was ecstatic, like, you know. So, you know, it's been a long time, especially she bred the dog herself, and it's extra special when you breed him yourself. It's that little bit more special. Of course, it's well, well done again on your win tonight. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you.
Owen, oh, that was an exceptional run by the dog tonight. Yeah, very happy with him. He's a nice, great bit of early. He showed that like he's a good sprint trial in his car in Clonmel. Um, like he's a young dog, he's October, so we are pinching this stake and hopefully we're going to the bend and suit him and he done his job, so like he should come on a bit more in the next couple of, hopefully more, more 525s and he's all about early, the dog, and he, he gets the 525 all right, but hopefully he'll be getting stronger if he gets through a few more runs. Hopefully. And how did you actually go about preparing him for this race? Well, he, he was sent down with a good reputation, like he's supposed to be a good dog and we gave him a few trials and like he showed promise from the world from day one. So we gave him a couple of sprints in Clonmel and he looked good. So then we gave him a couple of trials here and so we said so throw him in and give him a chance. Good. And then moving away from Kilkenny and on to the UK, how are things going over there? Yeah, it was mixed mixed night last night. Um, Thursday night, like Farlock Calvin done his usual out and gone job, like out trap one. It's a big big help to him. He loves the inside and ran well. Um, unfortunately, say this Pedro, he was a third in a heat for two to qualify, which is a bit unlucky, you know. Sorry. So, mixed night with two more tomorrow night. Hopefully, Van Rooney now is he's there in a heat for three to qualify, and Fiery Splendor is in another heat for two to qualify. So, we're really hoping to get to two and through. So, Van Rooney's in good form, he's very good, yeah. He, um, like, he's a little doggy. The longer he goes on the competition, hopefully, he'll be getting stronger. and. Maybe the early pace dogs might be getting tired, but like a bit of luck in running and keep qualifying, making the frame and go a long way. Yeah. And if I was to have a bet on one of your dogs, which one would you be telling me to put my fiver on? Uh, well, fair luck, Kelvin. Like he needs the inside draw, you know. So he'd be hoping he'd be getting these draws. Fiery Splendor now has great bit of early, and he's a wide seed. I think he'll go a long way. But like Van Rooney's proven dog. He's you know he won the Puppy Derby. Yep. He won the select stakes in Waterford and he's a good competition dog and he mightn't go too far wrong if you put a couple of pounds on him. Don't go mad. <laughs> well thank you very much right. and the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Jack, he stayed on really well tonight. Yeah, he's a he's an exceptional pup. He's um, he ran a bit green tonight. Didn't know whether to go inside or outside, but eventually took up the run and went on to win in a pretty decent time. He did, and the ownership has changed hands quite recently with this dog. But he was bred by his previous owner, and his breeding is exceptional. Yeah, he's out of um, Paradise Elena, who's the mother of Paradise Medicine. So. The track record holder around Shelburne and the Champion Six winner, so he's he's bred to be the best. He's bred to be a good one. And how did you prepare him for this race here tonight? Uh, he had a few private schools around here as well as a, an official trial, and he went very well in the trial. So we knew that we, we could come down here and contend because obviously it's such a tough competition to win with all the best young pups coming to, to try and win it. So. He's a, he's a good dog and he's got there's plenty left in the tank. It certainly looks that way. And Dean, your dad's not here tonight, he's in England. Yeah, he's in England with uh, Kipper, as you say, and Mind the Net and Paradise Silver. So, um, Paradise Silver won earlier tonight, so we're happy with him. And uh, Mind the Net qualified last night, so happy with him as well. Like Kipper, as you say, won, so three of them are two so far, so hopefully. So far, so good. And will you be making, over the, making the trip over? Well, maybe. See how it goes. Couple of weeks, maybe we we'll, we'll go over. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank
John, you must have been thrilled with your win tonight, winning in the fastest time so far. Yeah, it's nice to come down here and win in the Red Mills and with all the locals and everything like, and the dog showed a terrible lot of early pace and he stays as well and his sectional times are very good. They were indeed. And this is another homebred dog for you? Yeah, we breed all our own and uh, we kind of move on maybe before racing or, or when they have a race we move on because we'd have a terrible big setup with uh, dogs There's and saplings. Four, five, and three, uh, five, this fella is also a great sand flow dam line and it's our first litter. So we're really thrilled that it was the first litter and by Farley Blitz uh, we got the service from the Drapers and we're delighted that we have a dog in the making now. Brilliant. Well congratulations on your win tonight. Yeah, that's grand. Thanks very much. Thank I didn't see you, you were missing. Yes, he showed great early tonight and stayed on well. He did, he did it lovely. We were delighted with him. We've come up from Tralee today and I have a great friend of mine that's been the Greyhounds with me for many years, Brendan Fitzgerald, who would be well known to the Greyhound boys. And Brendan made the journey up with me tonight and I'm delighted for myself and for Brendan. Yeah. Brilliant. And you haven't had a good track dog in a little while, but he certainly looks to be He's, a nice Yeah, well, it was a lovely start. Uh, no, haven't had a track dog, not a mind, a good one in a long time. <laughs> And uh, so it's just great to be here. I bought him as a pup from Liam Dowling, and his mother is a sister of Ballymac Vic. So uh, Liam reared him to right up to 12 months of me, and I took him in. Uh, Owen has him up here in Tipperary for the last six or seven months. Brilliant. So we have a good start, and we have a few pounds in our pocket going home, which is important. Brilliant. And why did you buy this dog of him as opposed to any of the others? Well, basically, I, I know I, while I wasn't having anything at the moment myself, I was very friendly with Liam always. And I just met Liam one day and a good friend of his uh, mentioned that he had a litter on the ground. When Liam told me that the dam was a sister, she had never run, a sister of Valley McVick, it, you know, it, it sparked a big interest. Yeah, so I said to Liam, will you rate her for me? Yes, but at 12 months he says he goes out that gate, and that's exactly what happened. And I thank Liam and Owen in particular, and uh, that's just great, it's great to be here. This is a great competition, mind you, so it's lovely to win it, to win that first round. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your win thank tonight. You, thank you, thank you. Take care. Ned, you've the only bitch in the stake and she made Correct, it look very yeah. easy tonight. Ran well and came away well and kept it up well and that's what I thought about. That's the main that's the thing. Main in front. And you bred this bitch yourself? Well, seven, yeah. yeah, she's out of luminous flowers. She's uh, the dam of one of the derby, English derby content, contenders, um, Barefoot Scholar, Paul Ellis. She was, he was second tonight actually in the first round of the English derby. Brilliant. Yeah. And why do you breed dogs as opposed to buying them? never read anything else when you read them. And what's the best dog you've ever bred, would you say? Well, the best dog I ever owned was Leif Contender. Back in the 90s, he won the Project Stakes and was national record holder for a number of years. So he was the best. Oh, you had, anyway. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much and congratulations well, on your well, win tonight. Thank you. Thank you.
John, you're really on form. That was a super double tonight. She showed super early. Yeah, the two dogs were thriving well, like, and they were galloping well at home, like, and as I said, he's by uh, Scalari, my daddy, also brought Acres Hazel, which we got from Robert Colburn in England, and we bred her, and we still have some more of the dogs at home, and this is the first one that raced tonight. And yeah. So they're really running well, like, they wintered well, and we just bring them out now when the weather is good. Brilliant. And, yeah. How did you get them ready for this race? Uh, look, we, it's a family run, run thing at home, like my wife and uh, two daughters and my son there, they put a lot of work into it and they like coming here to Kilkenny, our local track like, and it's great that Connolly's and Red Mills are sponsoring this and it's a very prestige thing maybe to win like, you know what I mean? So hopefully we might be able to go all the way like this year. Brilliant. Yeah. And then these dogs, are you going to keep them or sell them? Uh, well look, we'd always say we'd like to keep a nice dog, but we have so many dogs at home like, I mean we'd be carrying big numbers of dogs and big numbers of race dogs and it's so hard to get to them all and you'd always say like if the likes of them got into professional hands with the uh, trainers uh, where we'd be carrying big stock at home like, I mean I just don't have any time for it, we're really tied down with dogs, you know what I mean. And how many bitches would you have breeding? We would have maybe 12 or 14 bitches breeding there. And as I said, the litters keep coming and it takes a lot of, lot of hard work, like, you know what I mean? And they do not understand this at the top, like, you know what I mean? We'd want to get somebody from the top down to my place for one or week anyway, and yeah. then they'd see where the hard work is. Of course. Well, many congratulations on That's your double grand. tonight. And hopefully Thank you. see you next week.